How's it going? Welcome back. So, we've got a pretty cool video for you guys today. Uh, some of you know I've gotten these uh, Shaler Copy uh, strap locks. Uh, picked these up in China for about five bucks a set. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Um, well, today we went into Long McQuaid and my wife actually got me a pack of Shalers because uh, I only have one guitar that I don't have uh, locks on. I'm not putting them on acoustics, just my electrics. And uh, so these are going to be for my SG. And this way I don't drop my guitar because that would suck. So, but part of this video too is uh, the main purpose of it is also to compare real shalers that are flipping expensive to the $5 Chinese clones. Okay. So let's open the package and uh, we're going to take a look at these things and uh, see what we've got. So just pop one of these suckers out. Well, it's the exact same release mechanism and exactly the same machining on the part. That's interesting. Now the washers, the aftermarket Chinese ones are about twice as thick of a washer than the real shalers. And uh, well, it looks like the button size is about the same on top. Uh, metal thicknesses at the bottom are looking to be pretty much identical. So the Chinese ones definitely have a thicker washer and you know what, I'm thinking the diameter might be actually a little bit bigger on the Chinese ones too. Let's uh, see if we can sit this washer on top. I'm going to give you guys close-ups too. Okay, so they're looking like the Chinese clones, the washer is just a slight hair bigger. Just a slight hair. Not by much. Definitely twice as thick though. Oh yeah, it's definitely twice as thick of a washer. So, basically, right now my opinion, and I'm still going to show you this stuff, is that uh, the aftermarket uh, Chinese ones are definitely going to be the ones that I would suggest to buy. These were $31.75 at Long & McQuaid. Now, that's a little expensive for something that the uh, Chinese clones are actually built exactly the same with the exception of the washer on the Chinese ones is twice as thick and just a pinch larger in diameter. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking any future guitars, I'm going to keep going with the Chinese stuff. However, you know, either way, money well spent, it gets the information out to you guys, you know, and uh, so you know what you're dealing with here. Because a lot of people, they shy away from Chinese products sometimes, you know, uh, for any number of reasons. Where are these things even made? Well, wherever Shaler is located, I guess. <laughs> or whoever they get to make their stuff. Uh, let's take a look in the inside here. Doesn't even say where they're made. Just the, you got the Shaler website, but... It doesn't say made in Canada, made in U.S., made in China. It doesn't say any of that. So we don't know exactly where they're made. Probably in the same factory that made these ones. Who knows? Now, the one thing I will say that is a little different about the shalers um, is you do get two sets of screws. Okay? Um, which is kind of nice. So you get different lengths. And uh, you do get a little felt protector which you don't get with these ones um, which who cares I mean 
you, do you really want to spend $31 to get two little pieces of belt and maybe some longer screws? Because mm, even me, I, I use the screws that come with them and they're fine. Or you can use the screws from your old ones. I've done that too and it works just fine. But uh, alright, so let's get the up close crap going for you guys so you know what's happening here. So we're going to start showing you guys the main button first. Chair out of the way. So, what kind of view can we give you? Okay, so there's the buttons. You look at the buttons, the machining is pretty much identical. There's actually a little bit thicker ridge here, just a little bit. But otherwise, the machining looks pretty much the same. You know, like you really. It, you're hard pressed to tell the difference unless you're uh, really paying attention here. There's a little bit more meat up in this area on this one than there is on the shaler. So realistically, the shalers aren't built to the same um, thickness standards, we'll say. They're, they're a little bit thinner. Okay. Not that that's a big deal, but... But they do have the same general shape. The same general shape is, is the same. Just a little bit thicker below, a little bit thicker up top here on the copy. Shaler's a little thinner. Now, let's show you the, the main button thing here. Get this one off here. Now, this is your pull button heart. You know, look at these. They look pretty identical, don't they? You know, look at the thickness of the washer difference here. The gold one is the Chinese one, of course. And it's at least twice as thick. And it is a pinch bigger in diameter, just a pinch. Okay. And then you look at the inside of the, the horseshoes here. That's what I'm going to call them. And uh, they're pretty, pretty much identical. You know, like to really... See if there's any 100% smidgen difference. We'd have to put these on a set of calipers. But otherwise, they look pretty damn identical to me. You know. Now, these are also embossed with... Um, looks like Shaler has their name on here. Well, aftermarket won't, but... You know. And, I mean, I, I use these... A lot of my, my, my electric guitars. Like I said, I only use them on electrics. Um... But I got into the, the strap locks because I dropped my tally. And uh, I didn't hurt the neck or anything, but I did kind of, you know, nail the body a little bit. But it happens, you know. Telecasters are built like tanks. What can I say? Can't do that with a Gibson get away with it. Um, but nothing against Gibsons. I mean, hey, we all hear the good and bad about everything in life, right? But... Uh, Definitely worthwhile investment to invest in strap locks. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm definitely going to uh, recommend that if you want Shaler strap locks, I wouldn't even bother with the Shaler brand named ones because of the expense of them. And who cares about two extra screws, which you'll probably not use anyway. But even if you did, fine. Um, and two little pieces of felt. But they got a much thinner washer. You know, a little bit less diameter, but otherwise, you know, the rest of it, I mean, the machining is pretty much identical between the two of them. There's not a whole lot of difference, right, in the, in the button, you know, and the rest of this is all the same as the uh, aftermarket ones that cost $5 uh, out of China, and I got those uh, from Wish.com, so, yep, yeah, uh, it's kind of worth waiting a month or so in the mail. Um, oh, my wife just handed me a paper here. Shaler strap locks are made in Germany, it turns out. So there we go. They're made in Germany. Well, what can you do, right? Anyways, guys, um, these will be going on my SG. Like I said, either way, money well spent, and I needed to get a set for the SG, and it's been a while, and uh, I'm starting to get a little bit paranoid with that guitar just because of the location of the strap pin at the... Uh, the body end here um, it's in a spot the same as my court and I've had my strap 
flip a few times on the court and almost dropped it. Um, you know, almost didn't do it. Um, and I really don't want to drop my SG, you know, just because, yeah, it would suck. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll be putting these things on some point later today, and uh, they'll be uh, on the new guitar. But uh, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I definitely think that $5 for the aftermarket Chinese ones is definitely 100% the way to go. Um, sometimes you can pay less and get more, you know. So, but, uh, and it is worth the wait to get them in, that's for sure, you know. And you can get really good deals if you got a lot of guitars to do. Um, I know Wish has like sets of like five or five sets or ten sets if you need that many, you know. And you get a nice price too, so you can save even more, right? So there you go. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.